Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you the best way to run a Windows game on your Mac. Uh, for me, it's definitely crossover. You need to download this app. I'm going to put the, uh, the link on my video description. Uh, I want to mention it's not free. You're getting a 14 days trial if you want to test it. After that, I think it's $74 uh, US for the uh, whole year. And also you can buy it for a laf lifetime if you want. So when you download Crossover after that, you go and you need to go to install and you have you will see a couple of popular applications as you can see over there. And the one that I recommend is for sure Steam. You probably already have an account or maybe you need to create one, but it's the biggest library that you can find on the internet for video games. So after that, just install this. So when your Steam is download, you can open your steam like this and just download that the game that you need and also you will see that on your crossover app you all your game will be there the thing that i recommend is first of all in the advanced setting make sure that d3d metal is activated if you have like an m1 m2 m3 it helps a lot to optimize and to boost your fps and a lot of games sometimes it doesn't work it will crash so just removing it but majority of the time uh, it will work I will also mention it doesn't work for all the games. It really depends on the game. A uh, game with uh, very aggressive anti-cheat like Apex Legion and stuff like that, it doesn't work. Uh, but honestly, if you're playing like solo game without uh, an anti-cheat, it should run fine. So when you install your game like this and you just want to boot, you can boot it directly on Steam. Also, you can boot it on uh, the crossover. So the important thing is because you have select the advanced setting as you can see over there, you will need to run it with option to make sure this one is applied. So when you did that, as you can see right now, I'm running Elden Ring. So in system, we're gonna go there. If you want to increase your res resolution, you will need to put this game in borderless because in full screen, it's like at 1300 something. And my quality is at high and as you can see, it, it runs really well. I don't see any stuttering. Uh, it's a big improvement between all those uh, other software on the internet that, that try to emulate Windows to, to run on your Mac. And this one is almost like native, honestly. It really depends, again, on the game. But uh, yeah, nothing to say about it. It's working well. So this is pretty much it, guys, for my uh, guide on how to run Windows game on your Mac. If you have any question, just come in the YouTube section. Post me the type of Mac do you, that you have, like the, the processor, is it a MacBook Pro, etc. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.